Hi everybody, welcome back. I want to go through some view making here for you as I learned it, which means I didn't read any instructions, of course, but I did take the amazing tutorial here with Chase Plane. And uh, if you open up your Chase Slimming menu, it's going to be down here uh, Control Assignment Wizard. Chase Plane is a complete override. And it starts of the talking and it goes through Microsoft the entire instructional. It's it absolutely for powerful camera control. Absolutely amazing uh, tutorial. I got to say, it was fun, informative, and easy, and that's how it set myself up. Uh, only took about 15 minutes to get used to it. It reminds me a lot of the previous Chase Plane as well. In any event, um, I want to go through how I programmed my views. I can shrink this down in the corner a little bit, or I can move it wherever I want. It doesn't really matter. It uses no frame rate hit. I'm still doing 120 frames, which is normal for my PC. Anyway, um, very simple. I have all the views programmed just like I did in the previous video I did before I had Chase Plane. So I have a captain view. Um, I have a look up view, look down console view, captain, co-pilot, right rear, back to captain, left rear, and, uh, and that's it for the cockpit. Now I have cabin views separate. So I have a left passenger view and a right passenger view. And I stop there because I am so used to not having any other views. Quite honestly, uh, zero through nine, that pretty much takes them all up. But now we have all these extra views that are by default within Chase Plane. So I've got all these extra instrument views that I don't even have to do anything with. If you take a look at them, you can cycle through the next, 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 and it even hits my passenger views. So it's going through everything I've done in forward or reverse order. So there's all these extra views there that I can cycle with a click of a button. Let's open it up again so you can see what those are. So there it shows right there, my pilot view, my co-pilot view, my left rear view, which is I called pilot three, and my right rear, which is called pilot four. Now in case I wanted to tamper with that or adjust it, because as you'll find it by default, you're going to want to do that. You're just going to click on it and the pencil adjust area and start looking around. Well, if I wanted my pilot view to be like this, or as I often say, don't sit like a baby, but if you really want to, just hit save position and you're done. And if you don't have a control assigned, you can hit the black box, the empty box at the time and uh, assign a button. It takes a half a second and you're done. Oops, don't save that. I don't want to save it. So I didn't. Back to normal. Same thing. I have an upper view, console view. Now this instrument 07 it's called or further down the line 09, 02, 01. These are all set by default and they cycle appropriately when I look at them. Now some of these are really ridiculous and I've not had a chance to fiddle with them yet. So while I'm working here with you, let's see if I can. So I cycle through these with a button I have assigned, and uh, that is in here, uh, in the internal world. I think I gotta go to preferences, camera movements. Camera movements is more like where your body is, up and down, left and right, zoom in and out, look left and right, and such like that. Camera actions, here we go, previous view or next view. And that's what I have assigned to my alpha flight control. So you wanna to go to previous view or next view is gonna do this type of thing. But these are weird looking views. I've not fiddled with them at all. So let's take the first one I come to and I'll show you. Let's, let's try this view. All right, that is called upper. Well, I like that one because I made it myself. Let's go to the next one. That's console, that's a good one. Here's instrument 07. Wow, well, that's kind of strange. It's a little bit too close in for me. So I'm gonna click on the pencil and hit it, hit adjust. And as I hit adjust, I can use this great little control panel, or I can use my own keys that I have programmed, which is probably what I'm gonna do, because I kind of like that better. And I'm trying to, I fly this aircraft in real life pretty much the exact same thing. So where, there we go, that's a good view, and I like that. So I'm just gonna hit save. And I'll go back. 
now that view is now saved. Let's go back again and we'll try the next sequencing view. That's a good one. Don't need that. Don't need to change that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. Ah, this is terrible. What on earth is this? Instrument view 09. So I'm going to hit adjust and let's back away from it and get, get out of that. That's for sure. And that was staring at this air cell phone so close. But this might work. This is what I frequently look like, look at in real life, the overhead panel for the lighting. We use it all the time. Uh, so maybe like that would work, and I'll just hit save and be done with it. Go back again and try the next one. Oh, that's ridiculous as well. Let's go change this. Click on the pencil, back out, or you can use adjust to use the camera controls and do stuff yourself, which is pretty darn cool. Wow, that's neat looking. Zoom in and out, whatever you want to do. But let's just get there and make a nice camera out of it. And I would want to know my center console back here, because this gives me the APU, which we use all the time, and maybe even the rudder trims. But for the most part in real life, I'm always looking at the APU console. Make sure that's good. So APU area, flaps bleeder system over here just stuff like that so let's just see if this looks good and I'll hit save and go back and instruments one I could just click on it this time that's kind of goofy but uh, how about the autopilot that'd be a great one to have and I like it tilted about like that when I'm using the autopilot I like to see my PFD so I can see my airspeed and my climb to altitude and maybe even uh, at least the uh, compass heading bug. So I'll, uh, this one here, instruments one, I'll hit save. I'll go back. You can just click on the mouse like this. Instrument three, well, that's a really good one. That's the uh, Garmin touchscreen unit. And definitely it's a perfect view for there. As long as I can touch range, and I can. Instrument four, that's also a nice one. I like that by default. Instrument five, uh, that's, that's good enough for now. I was just there, but good enough. And six, this one's ridiculous. So I'm going to fix that, slide over a little bit. I'm trying to look at that touchscreen unit off the captain's side. And maybe to include my my dimmer switches as well. The yoke is in the way. Hmm. That's an issue. But maybe like that. There, that works. Hit, hit save. Instrument 6 it is, and save. Go back. Let's go down and see what else there is. Instrument 8. Ah, that's also strange. Let's fix the co-pilot view. It gives us access to the anti-icing protection and uh, the PFD as well. I'll back up just a tiny bit so I can in, in just include uh, anything else I might want. Uh, TCAS over there, or the set part of the MFD. Eh, yeah, that's good enough. Hit save here. Save. And, and back again. Alright, so now I can cycle through all of them. Let's take a look at what I did. There. There there, there. So look at all the additional views you get based on, I mean, above and beyond the original nine. Fabulous. All right, let's just say I want to add another passenger view, because that would be kind of cool. Right now I only have one view there and one view there. Now this airplane comes with a set of dead windows. So I only use those two because Otherwise, it's kind of goofy. But in a larger airplane, I certainly might want to add more passenger views. So I could add extra passenger views, as many as you want, or an extra instrument view. Let's just go ahead and try something here. I'm going to go inside again. And I can import views, or do get community views, or create my own, which is really, really neat. Let's just say I want to view down here, maybe really close in to the engine gauges because they're hard to read from this far away. As they are in the real airplane, they're pretty tiny. I'm just going to hit create and get a category. A pilot view, and which is everything you would normally have with all the motion bumps and wiggling. Or pilot instruments. It says right here, human smooth motion, which is kind of rolling and bouncy. Human stiff motion, which is instrument views of the aircraft. And it won't transition in and out, which is, I mean it will. But what I like about this is it keeps things solid, so in turbulence, you're not going to bounce around. Let's try an instrument view 
hit next. And I'm going to call it, let's see, my keyboard's way over here, so we've got to stretch. I'm just going to call it a, a MFD, MFD Touch. Because I'll tell you why. Every time I'm in turbulence, I can't do anything. As you know, the mouse units are ridiculous. I hate mousing around, but sometimes you have to, and I don't want to use the mouse anymore. Since this is a new feature that Chase Plane has, let's take advantage of it. Get right up nice and close to the Garmin touchscreen. Just like this. And where was the name of it? Did it disappear on me? Oh, MFD touch, and I'm going to hit save. Now, it should just be there, and it should just cycle through. Let's take a look. There's that, there's that, there's that, there's that, there's that, there's that. There's my new one. And you can... Here, well, that's instrument three. I'm seeing nine. Where's the one that I have named as the touch view? MFD touch. Maybe there's something I have to do in here. Skip when cycling views. No. Use smart view on. It should work. Share view. No. It should work. I'm just not finding it in. Let's try again. So I can show you. I don't need that. Not that. Popple high. So we're cycling. Pilot. Something down below, down below, down below. Should pop up the list here on the left. There's co pilot, pilot four, pilot passenger two and one, instrument seven, console, upper, MFT touch. There it is. Fabulous. So now I can play around on here in turbulence and uh, do whatever I want. Perfect. So that works. So now you can easily add views of any category and stuff like that. Now, the best of all is the flyby view. So I have a button on my yoke for that. That controls the flyby button right there. Now, when you cycle flyby button, using the same button you assign to either go to the next or the last camera, it's going to alternate. Here's a drone view where you can move camera in and out and do whatever you like as well. And that nearest parking lot view, that's really cool. And you can still operate your cameras and do whatever you want from the parking lot. That's really neat. You can move forward, up and down, whatever you want to do. Now it cycles to the nearest runway. Again, there's only one runway here, but you're still free to go up and down and move forward and back while you're on the runway. That is really awesome. And the next one, you can go to the uh, tower view, control tower view right there. So right from the tower cab at uh, JEC, at least it simulates a tower cab view. Maybe it doesn't put you in the right exact one. And you can move yourself down and using whatever buttons you selected for up and down, right and left. And so forth. And the flyby view, which is still my favorite of all. There it is. And you can move up and down, back and forth, and whatever you want to do. So that is really way cool as well. So now you have all the views you want, a little tutorial on how to program them. And let's do a quick takeoff, and hopefully you'll enjoy that little lesson here. Let's get rid of that, and bang, let's watch the world go by as we see if I can take this jet off and from this view only, which is like RC flying. One of the funnest views to fly from. Kind of not realistic, but it is a lot of fun. And, oh my, I don't know how I'm doing or where I rotate. Ah, dang it, I bumped. Whoa, I bumped, I bumped. Woo! Oh boy, not good. That is sloppy. Oh, let's get out of here, please. Don't stall it for the video. If I press it again, it'll keep cycling. Back inside, outside, raise the gear, do a quick turn and make it look fancy. There we go. Really cool. 
cool spot to land your car. Cycling. 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 Yeah, you can see the motion as well. Just added head motion. Absolutely amazing. Woo! Tax view, everything. I'd be throwing up right back there, I'll admit. Alright, I hope you enjoyed that. Drop me a comment, question, anything you'd like. And uh, please don't forget to hit subscribe if you'd be so kind. Thanks very much. See you all real soon.